Hi, I'm going to show you how to trace a coloring book style image for paper piecing in Silhouette Studio. I'm starting out with a coloring book image from coolclipart.com, which is one of my favorite sources of clip art for decades now. And it doesn't matter whether it's colored or not, but what you want is thick black lines that separate your areas of color. And I am going to, first thing I'm going to do is trace. So I'm going to go up to the trace button, which is the one with the blue squiggly in the middle. I'm going to click select trace area. I'm going to drag around the whole thing and because it's a coloring book image I'm going to take the defaults. It's the only time I take the defaults. I'm going to click the trace button and I'm going to scoop my original out of the way so I can use it for reference. Okay so now I'm going to start coloring the inner parts but right now it's all grouped together so I need to get it ungrouped by Actually, group is not the word. This is all one path right now, so I need to break that up. I'm going to go Object, Release Compound Path. Now I can click things individually. So that I selected one cherry. I'm going to select the other cherry, and I'm going to go to the paint bucket, and I'm going to color those. I'm going to use the original colors from the image. So I'm going to use the dropper tool, and then I'm going to come down to the cherry in my original and click that. Okay, I can see a problem because now I've covered up my white. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to decide that I should do the white first. So I'm going to click the white areas first and click on white. Now I'm going to go back and do the cherries again. Now that's a little bit better. Okay, now I'm going to do the stem eyedropper to the green. And now I'm going to get the overall background. It's a little tricky to select, so I kind of go outside of the image until I get a square around everything. And then I'm going to click the black. So now I've got a problem with my white again. Let's see what happened there. Okay, must have missed it the first time. So clean it white. Okay, so now I'm almost done, except I've got a problem with this. Now this happens a lot of times on a coloring book image. You have a line that's broken, so it doesn't trace right and you end up with something that doesn't act like you think it should. Like I want this middle to be white but it's not. So what you have to do is you have to go in and do some node editing. There's different ways to do this. You can, um, but this one works best if I just delete the points until I have that shape left. Okay, so there I go. Alright, so now what I want to do is I want to group the whites together. That's uh, Command G or Control G. I want to group the reds together. Command or Control G. Alright, now you see you might lose colors, but that's okay because they're still there. They're just hidden now. So now when I want to cut this, I pull my reds to one part of the mat. I pull the black off to one part of the mat and I pull the white off to one part of the mat. This one is an extra that we don't need. And I pull the green off to the mat. And there's another little stray piece. So you can either put your paper on the mat in different squares or you can save these to separate documents however you want to do it. But that's how you separate them out uh, quickly. You might have to do some note editing. Um, sometimes you don't. This was a problem because there's no black outline around the white, for instance. But if it's nice black outlines and there's no breaks, it's even easier than this. So I hope that helps show you what we're talking about. Um, thanks for watching.